AFC RD TV for a wet, rainy Tuesday evening at Hayden Road. It finishes Diamonds 1, Royston Town 3. And I'm with the manager, Andy Peaks. Andy, just uh, not Diamonds night tonight. No, nah, disappointing <laughs> to be honest, Bruce. Um, knew exactly what to expect from Royston from previous years with Steve's teams and obviously the players they've got and reports I've got having them watched. Um, I knew we had to compete with them physically um, and we didn't do that. Um, so that set the tone to be two down in what, 15 minutes or whatever it was, 20 minutes. It was always going to be a tough night after that. Um, and I'm disappointed. Yeah, the conditions were not great. There was always going to be mistakes. Um, but for me, we wasn't at the races tonight. So Ooh. I was disappointed. Yeah, the conditions, hard driving rain throughout the entire first half, but somehow Royston managed to play through it and they're up 2 0 after only uh, 12, 13 minutes. And as you might say, we're in damage control at that point. But Diamonds battled back, and you get a goal in the 22nd minute by Jesse Akibine. You're right back in the match, 2-1. Yeah, no, I said at half time I was disappointed with the first half in general because, say, we knew they'd be competitive. We knew we'd have to go and match them physically with headers and tackles. Um, and we didn't. When we found ourselves two down, it would always be uphill to us then. We were lucky enough to get a goal back. Um, and the positive at half time was we were still well in the game. And I thought going down the hill second half, uh, we defended better. Mm -hmm we would get opportunities and get back in the game. But for me, we never really got going second half either. Um, not a lot of positives in the fact we didn't pass the ball well enough. We didn't create enough goal scoring opportunities and therefore we didn't trouble their keeper. Can you pinpoint uh, what went wrong for Diamonds tonight? I mean, we had a great win on Saturday afternoon, but you have to push on and think about the next game, of course. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, absolutely not. I can't pinpoint it. You know, I, know we, I knew exactly what to expect. Um, and I, you know, I told them that, um, and yet we, I don't know, we just didn't get going, and we sort of bullied. Yeah, they've got some big, strong players. They've been, they play the game how this league's all about, really. Hitching are a little bit different, as in they play loads of football. Um, but this is proper step three football. They're a team of men. They're not boys. They're men. They've been in it a long time. Uh, they play to areas. They play for set pieces, um, and they do the fundamentals really well. Um, and they were better at us tonight than us, to be fair. Mm. Well, you brought down uh, three substitutions all in the second half, Lorraine, Furlong, and Jesse. They seemed to pick uh, the pace up uh, for a little bit, but uh, still couldn't get an equalizer. No, I was disappointed <laughs> with the subs as well, to be honest, Bruce. I didn't think yeah. they had an impact whatsoever. Didn't particularly help it. You know, we just didn't get going. The decision-making was poor. Um, even, you know, little things about short free kicks and not setting it up, playing to the conditions. You know, we got so many things wrong, and I don't think the subs had the impact I'd like them to have. Well, you have a day off on Saturday. Uh, the game is off with, uh, who was it, Stratford, and, um, because they're still in the FA Cup. Yeah. So uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? A little more time to practice, or how do you approach that? <laughs> I'll tell you that after the Stalbridge <laughs> League game, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, that will be a week from Saturday. So uh, the next uh, competition for uh, Diamonds will be in the League Cup. Yeah. So how do you approach that? Will you shake up the lineup a little bit, I suppose? Uh, <laughs> ten minutes after this game, I'm not sure at the moment, Bruce, what we do. What we do is train Thursday and we'll train hard. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have a think about what we're going to do for the Tuesday game at Peterborough Sports. All right. Well, once again, I'll say keep the faith, Andy. Thanks for your time. <laughs> no, I always keep the faith. And I know there's going to be ups and downs, but having such a good oh, run, seven yeah. points out of nine, you go into a game like this and you want to put a better showing on than what we Ooh, did tonight. I tough. thought we got beat too easily. A um, little bit too open at times, I'm being honest. Um, so, yeah, we're back to the draw Ooh. board and we'll go again. It's a long season, peaks and valleys. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. All right, cheers. All right, thank you, Bruce and Andy. I'm now here with Diamonds midfielder Jay Williams. Jay, not our night tonight, obviously a disappointing result. What was your overall take on the performance? Um, I think we just started slow and then we just carried on through the game. Sloppy mistakes. Didn't keep the ball well enough. We didn't press well enough. We was, the gaps were massive. And I think we've just got to realise that we can't we can't keep playing like that because it happened the first half last game and we got away with it by coming out second half and doing things properly we've got to just do that from the start and do things properly you mentioned maybe the faults in our play there do you think that the rain and the wind conditions contribute no. to that or was it more no. you know our, our, our own faults our own fault yeah and you know look at those two goals obviously um difficult difficult obviously to concede in the first um 10 minutes and I suppose the boys show good characters to sort of react from that and, and to, to stay in the game especially after Jesse's goal I'd have to disagree I don't think so I think it was a mistake from them yeah. good pressing from us but I don't think myself included character is just we just got to learn got to learn yeah. quick because 
it can't keep happening because we don't want to be near the bottom of the league. We want to be pushing mm. at the top. So yeah. We've got to learn. What was the message from Andy Peaks at half time? Exactly what I've just said. Mm. Just got to do things right. And obviously, we had a little bit more of the ball in the second half without really creating much. Um, and of course, Royston went and got that goal on the break. Do you think it was a, a fair reflection of that second half? Um, yeah, yeah, we didn't really, I can't remember us having a shot in that second half, really. I don't know if you can, because I, no. I can't. So. Well, there's always another game, and uh, of course our Southern League Challenge Cup campaign begins next week away at Peter Sports. Any early thoughts about that match? Um, well, I'm going to get home tonight, and then tomorrow we'll start thinking about that game. Of course, appreciate your time, Joe. Thank you. Thank you.